Hello YouTube, Jack Blair here. I uh, just created a project. I uh, started out with the SanDisk VMate that I bought years ago on clearance at EB Games. And it records using memory cards and it works well except for one slight problem that I'll cover later. I added in the DVD player that also serves as a monitor. I started by ignoring the power cords as the AV cables were the things I was going to need to create. The reason for that is because both the out for the VMate and the in for the DVD player use the same connectors so they won't connect together very well. I had been using an AV switch but it was getting too bulky for my liking so I decided to tear it apart to use it as parts. I used two of the connectors and just soldered them together and I know my soldering skills aren't the best but I put them together and then decided to test it out. Uh, they seemed to work fine and I just bridged the grounds because I didn't want to get all too fancy. I tested the connections and they did work. Uh, you can see that that's the VMate powered on and it is plugged in through the connectors and it does show up on the DVD player so everything worked fine there. This is the old splitter case that I used to use. Uh, it's just a PSP case that I got some connectors for, soldered it up in there, not very good. I'm going to replace it and I'm going to put everything in this case, that way everything is contained in one spot and that way it'll be easier for me to move around. I mounted the it in the top here, which wasn't really that great of a place to put it, but first times are always good. It did look nice. There it's mounted in there. I've already hardwired it in there. And it's going to the cables right there. And I'm going to have those cables coming out the back. And there's another one of the cables. I decided not to go with another mounting just because I did actually want the cables coming out. That way I wouldn't have to find a cable every time. And they're just attached right to the box. It makes a lot more sense in the long run. I tied a knot in there and have it coming in. I haven't soldered these up yet. I have now, but at this point I was just taking a look at them all to make sure that they would all work. And here's the finished working project. Uh, it does have the plugs on the top the cables that come out the back and it works pretty well. You just start by taking the plugs and you plug it into the TV. This in case I'm going to plug it into the side of my uh, LCD TV here and get it going. Then you just plug the cables of whatever you want to record, in this case I'm plugging my Xbox cables into the top. And uh, the red one doesn't go in very well because I actually did drip some solder down that little hole. And I fixed it later, but it just didn't work that well. And then you just, once that's plugged in and nice and secure, go ahead and open up the case. And then you plug it in and go ahead and turn on both the player and the VMate recorder and then the VMate recorder will of course say I would like a memory card please so we have to go get one once it's inserted the machine is all happy we can go to record now and now you'll see one of the things that will happen. So we've got the TV on, we've got everything on. We turn on the Xbox. We can see it come on there. And it matches on there. So we're good to go. But the reason that I need to create the splitter there, and especially to have the monitor, is that if we set it to record, watch what happens. The screen goes black. Now it's still up on the TV, but on the monitor, going through the recorder, it turns black. And that's why I had to create this whole thing. Now, I, I know it's a very 
roundabout way to go about it, but that's what I had to do. So, there it is, and now if we go back and I stop the recording, you can see the Xbox screen again. At this point, you just take the memory card out, shut everything down, close it up, and then you can take it wherever you'd like to go. In my case, just set it in the corner for the next time I'll use it. Uh, if you like this, thank you very much. Uh, go ahead and subscribe, take a look. Uh, big shout out to the people who have inspired this, uh, such as uh, mainly Luke Morse and anybody else who's doing things online and messing around with electronics and video games. Thank you very much, and as always, play on.